Hello beautiful blockchain people, that's me again at CryptoSpine, this is my next cryptocurrency market overview. So let's start, let's check the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see the market has recorded a solid price decline for the last 24 hours, so I would like to say it's a solid as an intraday movement or price decline. Of course, if we take into account the broader picture and we check, check the charts of the major cryptocurrencies for the last, let's say, one or two months, we still have this solid price increase. And today I want to say that, yes, Bitcoin dropped below the psychological level of $18,000 per one digital coin. It's trading at the level of $17,000. $589. Today I will comment on the current price chart of Bitcoin. Of course, I've been analyzing the price chart of Bitcoin relatively often nowadays. But yes, I think it's necessary because it's really very interesting and uh, pri the price is very dynamic. That's why we will check the price of Bitcoin. And once again, let's move to the candlestick chart. So this is actually how it looks like. And let me just remove all these unnecessary things. And of course, yes, we have already some kind of, let's say, deeper pullback. I will switch back to this pullback, of course, in the one hour chart. This is how it looks like. But before I conduct a technical analysis and a candlestick analysis, I just want to move on to some uh, news, crypto related news, trying to explain this price decline, trying to explain this price decline. So. The first one is on Cointelegraph, published five hours ago. PayPal suspends user for crypto trading using PayPal's own services. First of all, even if it is true, then we have to draw a conclusion. Not your keys, not your money. I would not prefer to keep crypto on exchanges or on such kind of payment services such as PayPal. So if it is true, it's a good lesson to holders or to users of such kind of services that it's better to have your own money at hand and not to keep them in some intermediaries. Next, I did, I, I check this article and it turned out that it's not that uh, clear what actually happened. Someone PayPal sent them messages stating that it had permanently limited their account due to potential risk. You know, like I even uh, saw yesterday some uh, on Twitter, some people complaining that PayPal blocked their money, but fiat money, not only crypto. So probably this is some similar issues and not, it's not relating exactly because that person was trading crypto. Anyway, I won't dive into details because I'm, I have never used, to be honest, PayPal because I'm not located in the United States or in Northern America and uh, across Europe, for example, there are many different services and people use Revolut and other services that are very similar to PayPal. So it's a local player probably there and uh, there are many local players, it depends where people are from or uh, on which continent. And what I want to say is, I don't think that PayPal is the explanation be behind this price decline, keeping in mind that this is just a local player in uh, Northern America. Probably some other uh, countries use it, but across Europe, in many places, that even people haven't heard about it. So, uh, the next one. Bitcoin price suddenly drops 11% as well as move BTC to exchanges. You know, like big players, they always may, uh, let's say, uh, transfer some funds. And we cannot claim that this is some whales. Yes, we see some big transactions sometimes, but what I want to say is because I used to work for a big brokerage company as a financial analyst, also as a, a let's say, trading in the trading department as well. And I want to say that sometimes I used to work with media outlets. And I know that uh, media outlets, they always try to create news. I, I uh, underline to create news when something interesting happened. In the, uh, happens in the market. So if we have some solid price movements, they always try, they need the news to create news, to explain these movements because they say in the morning, 
when the visitor come to our site, when he comes to our site, when visitors start to come to our site, they need this information. They need to see articles explaining this price movement. So we have to write them. And all of a sudden, those people who have to write uh, this news, even if there is no explanation at first sight, they have to create something. So these are typical articles trying to explain such kind of movements. They have been just created because of the potential demand from the visitors to read something that will try to explain this movement. And once again about PayPal, I want to say that a day ago, a couple of days ago, and not only even within this increase, I saw people complaining that their funds were blocked in PayPal because I have some friends in Facebook, for example, that are located in North America. And I saw their discussion uh, about this because this just pop up on the, let's say, thread. But this is another topic. Anyway, now let's move to the candlestick and price chart. So in the weekly time frame, yes, now we have a bearish candlestick. But at least it still has a local low above the previous one and a local high that surpassed the previous one. So I won't say that this is that bearish signal, to be honest. But let's wait and see what happens by the end of the week. In the daily time frame, we had a dodge here. I commented on this dodge, followed by a hammer, followed by another dodge. A solid bullish, bullish engulfing took place after that the bullish candlestick engulf or cover the bodies of those, all those candlesticks. Then followed by a bearish candlestick and now we have another bearish candlestick that is engulfing all these candlesticks. So this is a bearish signal. This is some kind of uh, signal indicating that uh, there is some solid, solid resistance. Bitcoin is facing solid resistance. And to be honest, if we put a horizontal line in the price chart, Yes, it is obvious. This is the previous uh, local high or actually the all time high from 2017. And of course, there are many investors, people thinking about it because they know that this is a local high. This is an all time high and it is a psychological resistance. You know, fellas, to be honest, uh, because I had a little bit of uh, some position and uh, yesterday or the day before when it was over 19,000, I was also thinking probably if you fix part of your, let's say, uh, position now, even if in the long, in the short run, we have continuation of this price increase, for example, something like this, the price will come to check this local high once again, because this is the all time high. So people also many traders investors they think also like this they know that the even if they fix book some profit and wait and see what happens in the near future even in the most optimistic scenario when we have a continuation of the increase they know that probably the price will come and retest this local high and they may enter once again the uh, their position uh, open their position but they will be sure that the way to the sky is already open, to the moon is already open. That's why probably some of those traders or hodlers, they closed a bit of their position to make sure that this is the long run. Oh, uh, uh, also, I want to say there is a potential resistance coming from this line here. I want to outline it like this. So uh, we have to be really very careful. But we're here for the long run and I want to say I'm not afraid of any corrections and etc. Now, if we switch to the shorter time frame, to a shorter time frame, you know, even with this pullback, we still have an, an ascending channel, an uptrend. However, at the moment, we see that the price is testing the lower line of this channel and we have to be very vigilant, very careful. Of course, we can change a little bit the lines, but I will draw it like this. I will use the local highs in our case. So this is actually the local highs. And I want to say that, yes, the price may 
rebound, may try to rebound from the local, uh, from the lower line. However, at the moment we still don't have any signal indicating a potential uh, rebound. We still have even in the shorter time frames accumulation of these bearish candlesticks. That's why we have to be really very careful. It's not sure that we will have a price rebound. However, I would also like to mention that there is a this uh, ascending broadening triangle here. So this is actually how it looks like this ascending broadening triangle. It's a continuation pattern. So uh, uh, keeping in mind that we have this ascending broad uh, ascending uh, sorry uh, ascending broadening triangle. Yes. It's a continuation pattern and it is still within the ascending channel in the one hour chart. So there is still uh, some uh, possible, uh, let's say, possibility that the price will rebound from the lower line of the ascending channel. But once again, we have to be very careful because this is just, let's say, theoretically, uh, but practically we don't have at the moment any signal indicating a price a rebound and renewal of the upward movement in the within the trajectory of the ascending channel. Now, what I want to say, uh, first of all, if even if it doesn't happen and uh, there is a deeper pullback, I want to say it's not bad for the market. And my, in my view, because I'm here for the long run, of course, some uh, crypto, uh, some not crypto traders, let's say that bought here, for example, a day ago. For them, it's quite unpleasant to see this pullback. For people who entered the market a couple of hours or day, a day ago with the idea to make fast money, of course, for them, this is very unpleasant, but they have to be really very careful. And what I want to say is, let's have a look at the price chart. Let's have a look at the price chart. First of all, in this range here, we had a lot of trading here, 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 here. So this these levels here or this range is tested as traders say it's tested the bulls and the bears they have been in this range for quite some time there was a lot of trading and at the end of the day they decided so the bulls were able to defeat the bears and the new price increase started however within the current range this one Starting from that local high from the summer of 2019, so something like $13,000 and a half, up to the local high of 2017, we don't have a lot of trading. And in my view, these levels are quite fragile because of this. You know what I mean? So it's not a secure or a stable increase. We haven't had a lot of trading here. What I want to see as a long run uh, it's not investor, cryptocurrency enthusiast and hodler. I won't say I'm an investor here. I am a cryptocurrency enthusiast and hodler. I would like to see much more trading here. Charts like this, you know, like uh, with some fluctuations, of course, for uh, uh, for traders, this is not pleasant if they buy at the top and they see these declines. But for the long run in, uh, 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 players, such as the cryptocurrency enthusiasts, that would be really very beneficial for us because in one year from now or in two years from now, when we have a higher prices, let's assume that a breakout of this line happens, we will be sure when we're at 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, that there is a solid foundation, a solid uh, really support behind us or below that level and we will be sure when we are here okay we don't have to worry because there is a solid solid foundation below us now if it happens now to be honest let's assume that the price skyrockets in the next couple of months and we see 25 or 30 thousand but people will start to think yeah but there hasn't been that much trading below us what about if the price pullbacks by $10,000? Of course, it would be unpleasant. That's why, once again, I would like to see more trading within this range between the level of, let's say, $13,000 and $20,000. Even if it takes some time, I need, at least in my view, this solid foundation. And this is just my point of view, but it's up to you. So that's it for today, fellas. 
Thank you for watching this video. Of course, I wish you good luck in the financial markets. Very wonderful day and hope to see you in the next one. That was me again at CryptoSpark.